Children's Hospital Boston is positioned to be a real leader in the field of concussive brain injury. At the moment, through our Brain Injury Center, you can see physicians in sports medicine, in neurosurgery, in neurology. You can see neuropsychologists. We have nurses, nurse practitioners, administrative assistants, all who focus on just this one issue. What causes a concussion is a spinning of the brain, a rapid rotational acceleration of the brain. And you could have the biggest helmet in the world, but if somebody hits you on the chin or hits you even at the forefront of the helmet, it's gonna cause your head to spin very quickly. We still have no idea what a concussion is. Brain's not working, but I don't know anybody who can definitively tell you why. And so I think the number one priority is gonna be figuring out why does the brain not work as a result of concussion. The second one will be we have no real treatments. We can wait for it to get better, we can rest your body and brain and you might recover faster. There's some medicines we can use to treat your symptoms until you do recover, but we have nothing to directly treat it. The NFL recently gave us money to study concussive brain injury over the next 18 months. The majority of that will go into learning what is a concussion, what happens to the brain as a result of concussive injury that stops it from working. The second thing is to look at factors of age and genetics on that. There are some hypotheses that younger athletes or younger people who sustain a concussion take longer to recover than older athletes. And um, there's been some studies to suggest that certain genes are associated with a poor recovery or a poor outcome after recovering from sport-related concussion. And the money's gonna go to study that. It's huge to have the professional athletes coming out and speaking about this and even missing playing time. The younger kids playing ice hockey, football, rugby, they're taught you just push through injury. And for most injuries, it's probably safe, quite frankly. But seeing people like Mark Savard and Patrice Bergeron miss long periods of time while recovering them from their concussion triggles down to the younger athletes, lets them know you gotta take this seriously. Sometimes it's gonna take longer than a week or two to recover. If you get one concussion in your lifetime, two, maybe even three, you're gonna grow up, you're gonna be a rocket scientist, whatever else you want to be, you're not gonna have problems for most people. The real risk is if you have a concussion and you don't allow it to recover before you go back to sports and you sustain another injury, that can lead to catastrophic outcomes. If you get a concussion, let somebody know, your parents, athletic trainer, physician, whoever. If you manage it properly, play sports forever.